Hi, this is Ceiling Ninja. Welcome back to Let's Play Shivers. I'll try to do this without falling asleep. I had a very interesting night last night. Anyway. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, he's with the college. Er, is at college. He's at college. He uses England. He purchased some land. He broke the ground. You think the chairman of the Chamber of Commerce doesn't know about the secrecy about the museum? He misses Mr. Christmas away. He's just from Central America with the Exupi. He's totally self-sufficient. <laughs> oh, that's sad. His mother says that he can't contact him anymore. He, uh, Jeffrey got accepted to Whitford at 5.30 a.m. right there. Da -da. The labor is installed, the mysteries of the deep. The Spanish is getting better, the Mexican workers told him a South American legend. Proof of the legend in Lima. Peru, he went to Peru, well this is the Exupi, here's where he got the Exupi. The professor read the tablets, he said that the original translation was very accurate. He's thankful to the Mexicans, his workers. He's noticed, uh, Merrick the Dork. Merrick the Dork is following him. He got his hair cut. Merrick the Dork is still following him. He's got a pretty pretty girl with him. He got a letter from Jeffrey. He finally talked to the Merrick the Dork. So, basically, that's the journal. It's not too important. But yes, 5.30 is the time I need to set the clock to. Uh, the most annoying part about the clock puzzle is setting it to the proper time. Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> no. Back. Now for again. There we go. A little bit better. Of course, skipping that first puzzle means that I think I have to do a six next time I go into the elevator. Which I don't think I have to go to an elevator ever again. I think I'm done with elevators. I'm good. I don't have to remember where my head was. There's Ash. Alright, clock tower time. I have to say, despite my dreading it, the clock tower puzzle is not that difficult. It's only a matter of finding out what each of the things does. 
Jeff. That other F was confusing me. It's like, wait, why is there three Fs? Jeff. few things to do up here. First... Those are the chains. That determines how the clock moves. There's Y, and here is another pot! She's awesomed out by this. Thank you, Beth the Freak. So we've Merrick the Dork and Beth the Freak. And this is fire. Beth got killed by fire. Alright, there's two ones I need to look at. This one. No down. Beth Ram to Boba to Ramba. Ram to Boba to Ramba. Pretty easy. Ram to Boba to Ramba. Okay, I need to look at this one. There goes Beth the Freak. There's Merrick the Dork. No, oh, he's got an inhaler. Yeah, it's on the floor in the in that room. I just all right. So it's currently midnight. All right. Me too. This is the Anansi Spider song. I liked this delightful melody so much that I had a music box made for Jeffrey. Alas, I never gave it to him. I need to listen to that for some. Alright, anyway. Go back down the stairs. Or ladder. There's nothing on that bookcase. It's weird. There might be a pot or something on it. Anyway. Pull this chain. Pull that chain. See what time it is. Seven thirty-five. So it looks like. So minute hand goes forward by thirty-five. So thirty-five, ten, forty-five, twenty. Fifty-five, thirty. <sighs> Was that it? 
<laughs> oh, and as I said, it's the oil pot. See? Me. All right, I'm done here. Let's see if I can get to. I'm done back in this place now. This place I'm done with. So I'm going to go to the Mysteries of the Deep. Tomorrow. See you guys then. Have a good day.